हेलो फ्रेंड्स टुडे वी विल बी डिस्कसिंग अबाउट अ टॉपिक दैट इज कॉल्ड मेलिग्नेंट हाइपरथर्मिया सो मेनी ससेप्टेबल इंडिविजुअल्स दे हैव एन अबनॉर्मल आर वाई आर वन और राइनोडिन रिसेप्टर कैल्शियम चैनल and this abnormal RYR1 rhinodin receptor calcium channel these are present at the sarcoplasmic reticulum of the skeletal muscles so when this channels these are triggered by certain drugs like हेलोथेन सक्सिनिल कोलिन सो विन दिस चैनल्स आर ट्रिगर्ड बाय दिस ड्रग्स लाइक हेलोथेन एंड सक्सिनिल कोलिन वॉट हैपन्स इज देर इज रिलीज ऑफ मैसिव अमाउंट्स ऑफ कैल्शियम रिलीज ऑफ मैसिव अमाउंट्स ऑफ कैल्शियम and this release of massive amounts of calcium will finally cause what persistent muscle contraction and will cause increase in heat production persistent muscle contraction and increase in heat production so this is called malignant hyperthermia now coming to the treatment part so the treatment of malignant hyperthermia is the first thing we need to do is stop all the drugs second we can give 100% oxygen inhalation rapid external cooling bicarbonate infusion and dantrolene and dantrolene is the drug of choice in malignant hyperthermia usually a question is asked what is the pharmacological basis of using dantrolene in malignant hyperthermia dantrolene what it does it is a directly acting muscle relaxant and this dantrolene it acts on the ryr1 rhinodin receptor calcium channel of the sarcoplasmic uh, reticulum of the skeletal muscles or prevents calcium induced calcium release through these channels so dantrolene it acts on the ryr1 channel that is rhinodin receptor calcium channel of the sarcoplasmic reticulum of the skeletal muscle and it prevents the release of the calcium induced calcium release through these channels and we have already discussed that this the release of the massive amount of calcium was actually responsible for the persistent muscle contraction and increase in heat production so when this calcium induced calcium release is prevented this muscle contraction and heat pro production is also prevented so that's all about malignant hyperthermia